hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to continue with our first uh, flask uh, mongodb series integration so basically trying to build it to do up by integrating first api and Mon mongodb so in the last tutorial we have, i have shown you what the project is all about and you have managed to set up the project and this is what we have so far so if i sorry if i do an ls i'm um, just clear the screen here uh, you can, if I do an ls, you can see this is the project uh, directory, the uh, project structure that you have set up in the last tutorial. You have installed all the necessary libraries and you have created the virtual environment in a folder called VNV. So let me just go ahead and actually activate that virtual environment. So if you don't know how, how about how to set up the project uh, director, project structure, and uh, the libraries that you installed in the virtual environment, then you can go back to the previous tutorial and then you can uh, refer to that tutorial. We, we, I went over everything and uh, even how to create a virtual environment, how to install the virtual environment and also demonstrated the project. Okay, so I'm just going to activate my virtual environment. So if you don't know about this, uh, uh, you can go, go back and refer to the previous video. And uh, I also have a GitHub page where I, I summarize all of this. So you can see this is the how to activate the virtual environment and Windows and uh, on Linux. Okay, so I'm on Linux Ubuntu. So I'm just going to say source VNV, uh, which is the name of my uh, the folder containing my my uh, virtual environment and simply going to activate that so i'm going to activate it and my virtual environment is now activated when your virtual environment is activated you can see it in front of uh in parentheses in front of the line within the terminal so great so now that i have that activated i'm just simply going to open up my visual studio code or any editor that you are using so just go ahead and open up your editor in the in the project uh, directory okay so once that you have that set up We'll begin to follow this step. Let me just bring this uh, here. So we'll begin to follow this step. So we have done all these previous steps. Okay, now we're going to follow this step. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a simple Hello World program using Flask. Uh, Flask in case for those for those of you who don't know how to use Flask. Okay. So let me just go back to my VS Code. Let me show I close this. So I'm just going to create a simple Hello World app. So I'm going to close all of this. And I'm going to go into my directory here, uh, my application directory. I'm going to go into init. And then from there, I'm going to say uh, from from Flask, I'm going to import, uh, I'm going to import Flask with a capital letter. And then I'm going to create a, an instance of the Flask uh, class. So I'm going to say uh, underscore name and then underscore. That's how we create that. So now that we have that, uh, but that's one of the things we need to do so after doing that we need we now need to uh we now need to set up other stuff for this to work so what we need to do now is that we need to now go into our now this is not the this is not the the, the easiest way to create a hello world app in flask but i'm just showing you based on our project structure like this is the way of standard way of setting up a flask project so i'm just showing you how to set it up from a flask point of view okay so i'm just going also going to go into my routes so i'm going to say uh, in my routes folder what i'm simply going to do i'm going to say uh from application you're going to import app so i'm going to say here i'm going to say uh from application I'm going to import uh i'm going to import uh app sorry so now that's done now that you have that set up i'm going to simply going to do app uh i'm going to I'm going to use the decorators it's just going to be at app dot route and then in here that's when you specify the route i'm just going to keep a uh, for, uh, for a slash there and i'm going to have a function here the uh, function i'm going to call it uh index the uh, index just the, the function called index and i'm going to return a uh, hello world so i'm going to return hello world that's all we need to do to set up our uh, our our hello world app now one more thing to do we have to go into our init.py and then you have to say uh, at the last at the very bottom you have to say from application you want to import uh routes that's all we need to do and then one more last thing we have to go into our run.py and then we're going to say from application uh we're going to import uh app. okay great and then you're going to now keep the the entry point to our program if underscore underscore uh this is going to be uh underscore underscore uh underscore underscore uh, name right so under underscore underscore name if it's equals to uh underscore underscore uh underscore underscore main and then under underscore these are called dunder uh dunder methods or you can call it dunder variables or whatever so app dot run and you're simply going to run the app just like that so great now you can even put this into debug mode uh, if you want debugging simply be uh, debug to be true okay but make sure that if you are deploying your app make sure that you remove debug equals to true okay 
when your app is in production so that's basically what it takes to set up a simple flask uh, hello world application now there are easier ways to do this but according to the, the standards of setting up the flask project this is how you set it up so you just uh in the in underscore underscore any dot pi you import the flask uh, instance you create an instance uh, you, you import the flask class from flask and then you create the flask instance and then you also import the, the routes from there uh, this is something to do with secular imports i'm not going to go into depth about this and then uh, from the run you import this we have an entry point to around this the, because the run file is what we are going to be using to run our application that's why we have the entry point in our run uh in our run.py file and then in our routes we're simply creating a route that returns called uh, a route for uh, this is for slash route called index that returns a uh, uh, a hello world okay so now let me just go back to my terminal and then make sure i I activate uh, that so I'm just going to bring up my terminal here and what I'm simply going to do in here I'm just going to do a uh, Python and then run.py and then run that this is going to now start our development server and you can see the development server has been started is running at localhost at port 5000 so I'm just going to open up this in my browser you can just copy that URL and paste it in, in, in your browser and you can see here we have hello world that's it that's basically it so you can, if I zoom in you can see here we have a hello world right there so that's basically it uh, how to create a simple uh, hello world application using a uh, flask so yeah that's basically it now that's out of the way now let's look what's this for next step that you're going to follow so let me just bring back my uh, github page here so now that we have that done let's go ahead and actually set up for our database so i'm going to be using Mo uh, atlas mongodb atlas so what you need to do that i have a link here you just click on this link and it's going to uh, pop up a page where you can sign up so you just click in here and then you log in so if you log in you to bring you to this page okay if you have login so if you don't have an account simply click on sign up and then you sign up and then from there you, you can be able to log in and whenever you have logged in it will bring you to this page so now you can go through the process if you don't have an account i already have an account so i can sign up okay so in your case you'll be required to actually uh sign up so let me just bring back my github page right there um let me just bring back my github page so if i go back to my repositories and then i go back to my uh flask uh flask to do mongodb app and this is let's go back here so now that you have I assume that you've already set up your mongodb atlas uh, account now you can simply go to create database click on that and then go to the shared one and then uh, create it because it's free so like, once that you have reached that point what you simply need to do is now you need to click on uh, create cluster so click on that create cluster and then this will take some time to create for you the 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 cluster okay so you just give it some time and then uh, it will be back so it can take up to one to three minutes as, uh, as stated here so you just have to be patient and it will be created for you so uh, now that we have that's we have that being created what you also need to do now we need to set up our underscore underscore any dot py file so our project configuration file so i'm just going to go back to uh, vs code and uh, bring up my vs code right here so in here what i'm simply going to do is okay what i'm simply going to do is uh I'm just going to come up here into my underscore underscore init file and then this is where I'm going to set my project configuration. So you're going to be using Flask form. So Flask form they require uh, application to have a secret key. So uh, and, and it's always good to set a secret key for your applications. Okay. So one thing about this secret key is that you can it can be anything random that you can just change. So I'm going to simply set it here. So this is how you actually set your app configuration. So uh, app config and then you have to pass in here uh, this a dictionary. So the, I'm going to pass in here a secret uh secret underscore key and this is going to be our secret key to our application now this secret key will be used by flask form uh, to prevent to prevent uh, us against certain attacks called the uh, cross-site request for jerry token attacks that can be performed by hackers against your web application so we need to set up this secret key for uh, for our flask form to be protected against such attacks so i'm just going to go into my terminal bring up my terminal close this and then uh, make sure i cancel that and i'm going to simply go into a python interpreter and i'm going to import uh import uh secrets okay i think it's called secrets and then secrets uh secrets dot uh token underscore hex and then uh you pass in maybe i want i'm passing in 20 and then press that so it's going to generate for you a random value so i'm just going to copy this random value and this is what you're going to be using as our secret key okay copy that and then go back into your your uh, visual studio code and paste it in the place where you have set up your secret key so that's how you basically you set up your secret key so great now that we have the secret key set up let's go back and check back on our database to check if it's uh, already created so now the cluster is uh, has already been created so i'm just going to go to browse uh, browse this and uh, let me just go back here for one minute so i'm just going to go uh, back here 
and then go click on um, connect and then on connect this is going to bring for you uh, these three options so the first one is connect with your mongodb shell uh, in case you want to use a mongodb shell connect to your application which is what you wa want and then the last choice is connect to your mongodb compass and mongodb compass is just a, like a mysql workbench for mysql right so it's just like a gui that you can use to interact with the mongodb uh, databases just like mysql workbench so the simple going to do is click on the connect to your application because since we want to connect our mongodb to our application so i'm going to click on connect uh, your application and then it's going to bring for me this part so make sure that you select uh, python and then the python 3.6 or later or whatever option that you want and then you simply just copy this part so you just copy this and then you go back into your uh into your uh actually wait you don't actually copy that you just actually have to copy this part of it so but before we copy this i'm just going to go back to my vs code and we need to set up one more thing here okay so what i also need to do i need to set up the config uh config uh this is going to be update config and this is going to be uh uh mongo this is actually mongo uh mongo underscore uri okay so mongo uri not url okay make sure that you pay attention to that so then you go back to my uh, my uh mongodb account and i'm simply gonna copy this part of the code so this part of it that's all i'm going to copy the one in par uh, in a code so i'm gonna copy that and then simply going to paste it here that's all i need to do and uh, make sure that i remove that okay to avoid that error so now that you have done that this is where you, you have changed you have to put in your password so your password how you get your password is you can just go by you can use a password that you use to register for your mongodb account but if you're not sure you can go back into database access and then you can uh, click on this user you can edit the user that you have just created and then the, uh, if you edit this user there's a password you need to set up your password and uh, this is a password you set up your password so you can actually um so set up your edit this and then you can put up your password over there and then simply be able to use that password uh, in there so what you have to do is that the password that you set over there you come to type it in here okay so before we do the before i type in my password i also have something more to show you here so let's make sure that we completely deal with this uh with this mongodb or from from with this init account before we move on to the other parts of our program okay so from uh flask underscore by mongo i'm going to import uh uh, this actually uh by mongo okay so that's all we need to do and then i'm going to now go ahead and actually set up uh set up my pi mongo so uh set up mongo db okay so what i'm simply going to do in here i'm going to say uh mongo uh db underscore client and then this is going to be uh my pi mongo and i'm simply going to pass in our app instance there and then now that you have that i'm going to now do a database with db is going to be equals to uh this is going to be uh mongo db client dot db okay it's going to return to us the db of that uh, of that database that's all we need to do for that so, so now that you have that set up we now we need to actually set our password here okay don't forget that so i'm just i've actually changed my password and i've simply got the uh, called the code with uh Prince again this password i'm going to change it afterwards so if you copy this this, this is not going to work for you so i'm just changing the password to the name of my channel and i'm going to change this afterwards okay so don't uh, rely on this uh, go ahead actually create your own password and uh, your own account and then use your own password here okay great so i hope that's clear and that's how you need to be, uh, be able to set up our mongodb client so now that we have that you can go back to our our list and then see what's next on the list so uh, 